Hey everybody. I'm in the middle of doing a big water change on my native tank. Actually I'm doing water changes on several of my tanks tonight. I'm going to knock about three or four of them out. And while I was doing so I figured I would test some water just at random so we could have a look at the varying degrees of nitrates in some of my different tanks. So we're going to start from my dirtiest tank and when I say dirtiest I mean my least frequently water changed and that is my 29 miscellaneous. This is the next tank I'm going to be doing a water change on and you can see that vial is indeed pretty red. Now this vial has also been sitting here for about 30 or 40 minutes and they tend to continue darkening a little over time. So this vial and this vial are a little older. They've been sitting here for a little while longer. This one is the tank we're doing a water change on right now. This is my native tank and likewise pretty red. Again, been sitting for about half an hour or so. These two are fresh. I just did these to do a comparison on and I wanted to get a look at them. This is my Black Ghost Knifefish tank before I did a water change on it. So I don't know what it looks like now, but that's not too bad for what I expected it to look like considering what my tanks normally look like. This water is actually from this bag here and that came from my big chain pet store yesterday I picked up another clown loach as a companion for my clown loach in my garami tank and I asked them if I could have a bag of water to bring home with me with no fish in it so I'd get an unadulterated sample and that's what we've got it's not as bad as I expected it to be honest with you, you know fair is fair um, when you actually put that on the chart and measure it it only comes out at about 20 parts per million maybe it's not really again it's kind of hard to see on video or whatever but i looked at it up against the card properly in the light and i compared it to my black ghost knife fish tank my black ghost knife fish tank is a slightly higher nitrate count but they're both sitting right around 20 to maybe a little more than 20 it's again when you look at these tests the difference between 20 and 40 and 40 and 80 is really kind of slim this one I'm putting more up towards the 80 end of the spectrum and then these two tanks I'm putting down more towards the 20 to 30 end of the spectrum so as I've said before if you think you're bringing your fish home in pristine water uh, they're not coming home in pristine water now that's not bad as I've said uh, a moment ago I have seen water come home from my big chain pet stores about as red as that I've never quite seen it that bad but I've seen it as red as this before so it's entirely likely I was in there the day after they did water changes or you know I was in there the morning that they had just finished water changes and that's why we have such a low nutrient level in the big chain fish store water so there you go. I'm going to get back to it. i got plenty of other tanks to work on tonight, but I just wanted to give you a little look at what some of my tanks look like comparison side by side. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.